We start out in the front gardens, and as you can see on these front steps, we have some lovely colored statues that match the various houses in Hogwarts. We come up to the main great hall, and we find there are many tables of the various colors for each of the four houses. Now we go up to the front, and we find there's the feast table for the professors, but look there, we have a little hat. I wonder what it's doing here. And look who's come to join us! A little owl friend! It seems to be Hedwig, Harry's owl, the snowy owl. Now I think it's time that I'm supposed to be sorted into my house. Let's see what the sorting hat has to say! <gasps> Gryffindor! <laughs> Seems that I've been sorted into the Gryffindor house. Let's take the tour of the grounds first, just to check out the rest of them before we go off to our houses. Over here we have the golden statue. This golden statue slightly resembles the griffin that you can find in Hogwarts, where if you give it a password, perhaps lemon drops, a staircase will appear and go down to the headmaster's area. Over here, you can see a view of Hagrid's house, the little house over on the hill, where he houses many mystical creatures. Over here, we seem to have a little dragon friend peeking his head over the trees, featuring the art by the lovely Fishing Man 10. This little portal will lead to my art museum, so you guys can still visit the art museum that I have been working on for a while now. But if you cross over the bridge, we can wander over to the lower forest area, which appears to be the Forbidden Forest, which you're not allowed to go into, but they don't seem to have very good security. So let's take a little look-see around. Oh, and there is the deer statue, which is a reminder of the third Harry Potter movie, where Harry learns how to make a Patronus. And look, there's a little spider, kind of like Aragog from second Chamber of Secrets movie. You guys should let me know what your Patronuses are because mine is a doe. <laughs> Up here we have a little station where we have Peter as well as some of the gardens. What's next to all the plants and behind the lovely kitchen we find the Hufflepuff house. And here's the Hufflepuff welcoming me to their house. Very fun house, lots of talent in herbology, and a love for food, I've heard. Over here you can see a very large tree, and at the top, uh-oh, it seems like a car got stuck. Hmm, I guess it's the Whomping Willow then, the car that Harry and Ron accidentally drove their second year at Hogwarts. Silly kiddos. If we go up this upper tree, we can find lots of books. I wonder which house this is. Ooh. Books? Potions? Hmm. Seems we are in the Ravenclaw house. And there's the Dark Dog. She seems to be our first Ravenclaw member. You can find little references to feathers, and there's the eagle, which is the house animal. Although it seems sometimes that it should have been a raven, but that was just the name of Ravina Ravenclaw, the founder. Over here, we can see the red of Gryffindor, as many of you guys know. You can even find, next to the fireplace, some suspicious candies, which probably came from Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Those guys are troublemakers, I do not recommend trying the candy. Thanks for welcoming us to Gryffindor Pancake. And it seems there's a hidden staircase up here. I wonder where it goes. Perhaps to the third floor? <gasps> uh oh, we found the third floor corridor. And there seems to be a trap door with something sleeping on it. Uh oh, it's the three headed dog. As you Harry Potter nerds know, the three headed dog is named Fluffy. And Fluffy, which is Hagrid's dog, was appointed to guard the Sorcerer's Stone. Ooh, she's growling. That's worrisome. I don't think she wants us to be here. <laughs> probably should leave. Uh-oh. Yeah, be careful of the third floor, you guys. I think we still need to find one more. Let's head down to the dungeons, which is where Slytherin is supposed to be held. Ooh, lots of green in the Slytherin house. We go to the bottom, lots of snakes. 
And here we are in the Slytherin house. Very spooky. You can even see the water. And as you know from the books, the Slytherins in the dungeons can view out into the lake where they can see glimpses of the giant squid as well as mermaids. I heard some of the Slytherins have actually learned how to speak sign language to the mermaids, which seems pretty cool. Ooh, this Slytherin doesn't seem to like Gryffindors in her house. We should probably leave her alone. <laughs> well, that's about it of the Hogwarts grounds, everyone. I hope you come visit my den. Be sure to dress up in your house colors to represent. And if you don't know about Harry Potter, well, you can just choose your favorite room, I suppose. Or read Harry Potter, because Harry Potter is pretty great. Hope to see you at Hogwarts sometime soon, Jammers. And let me know if you decorate your den to be Hogwarts as well. I'd love to come take a look. Thanks to all these awesome Jammers who helped me make this video. And I hope to see you guys around Jamong. Happy Jamming!